Hi artists, Miss Cassidy here, back for another art lesson. Today we're going to be talking about a technique we're familiar with, and then a silhouette. Now for our background, we're going to create a sunset. Now a sunset happens when our sun is going down, and all those colors in the sky start to appear. And then we have a silhouette. Now the silhouette effect happens when your light source is placed behind our subject. So if we have an animal, scenery, and that light is behind, then we're going to have a crisp black silhouette. Our lighting is going to be the background and our sun's going down and then we're going to have a black silhouette on top. Our background's going to be our colorful sunset colors. And then we're going to have a mid-ground and a foreground. In the middle, let's think about adding an animal, person, something in the environment, like houses, cars, mountains, trees, anything you can think of, add in the mid-ground. And then for our foreground, on our ground, let's create grass, hills, rocks, whatever you can think of for a ground, you can create it. The more details, the more we have a story. To create our colorful background, we're going to use a technique that we're kind of familiar with. Like Henri Matisse in his collaging, we're going to create a collaged colorful background. We're going to tear, we're going to overlap, we're going to just cover up our paper until it is a color combination we want. After our paper is covered with color, we're then going to move to our silhouette. We're going to use black paper, and now I'm thinking details. And we can use a pencil to do an outline and then cut it, or just go with freehanding. Here I'm creating a scenery with some mountains, have some clouds. Now artists, I didn't do that much detail. I want you to get more creative. Add to the story. Is it a cloudy day with raindrops, storm, or is it a nice sunny day? Can the birds be flying? Is anyone climbing up my mountain like an animal, a person? To create my background, I'm just ripping up paper to create texture and then gluing those pieces in an arranged order I like. I like to keep all of my edges nice and trimmed, and I'm going to cover it up until it's a color scheme I like. Now artists, can you think of anything I could add to this beach scenery? Maybe something in the water, jumping out of the water, on the water, some more details in the sky. What do you think? You're going to create a colorful background with the paper scraps, and then we're going to get detailed with our black silhouettes. Our silhouettes, again, can be anything you'd like. We just want to keep the detail. The more detail, the more we add to our story. All right, artists, start thinking about your silhouette. Are you gonna use animals? What environment are you going to create? Are you gonna have characters? Add to that scenery. Since we are creating a landscape, we're gonna hold it landscape style, and then we're going to mount with black paper, and our final step is to use Sharpie to sign our masterpiece, because we are artists. 